when I do something like this. So I tend to think about what am I going to cook? What am I going to use for that? Try and have it all ready to go. Salt, oil, and vinegar is always helpful. Um, I think having thermometers handy is extremely useful. Um, this is an infrared thermometer that'll help you tell how hot the coal is. This is a probe thermometer that'll help you tell how hot the product you're cooking is. Um, you definitely don't need thermometers, uh, but I think if you've got more information, if you know how hot things are, it's, uh, it makes your life a little bit better. And then as you get more experienced, you can use them a little bit less. Trays for working on, metal skewers are really handy, particularly ones that are a little bit flat. It stops the product from spinning on the skewer too much. Hooks and scissors and little zesters for things like uh, lemon zest, horseradish. Fan, uh, fire needs oxygen to, uh, to live, so the fan's a good way to get a bit more heat. Um, I like to use these nice little presses for cooking. It helps to maybe keep your skin flat or just distribute some heat from the top side as well little baskets and things for, for dropping straight on cooking coals. And I like to cook on little wire racks sometimes, that way it's just easy to maneuver them around, uh, or you can just cook straight on your grill. And then sometimes I like to split up the cooking area into a hotter side and a colder side. I use kiln bricks for that. You can buy those from Bunnings or somewhere like that.